This video has been extremely highly requested for those who are just beginning their longboard journey. We're gonna tackle this together. Basically, we're just gonna go through each trick. I'm gonna give you guys the rundown on it, some tips, advice, obstacles you may run into, sharing with you all how I do these tricks, where I place my feet. So before I dive into the list, I wouldn't be super clear that it's really important to have the real basics of longboarding down before starting freestyle. Pushing, stopping, starting, getting real comfortable cruising on your deck. This video is mainly focused on freestyle, so I recommend coming back to this video if you still have to work on those basics. Learning how to carve and turn is also really big and it'll just overall help you in the long run. Anyways, I will put a few links in the description if you guys want to check out those videos first before coming back to this one. But yeah, I guess we can go ahead and start looking at that first trick on my list. Also, I want to point out that I ride regular, so every time I mention my back foot, that's going to be my right foot, and my front foot is going to be my left foot, and the opposite for those who ride goofy. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, we're going to talk about the first trick on my list, which are pivots. I like recommending learning pivots fakey before nollie because that's how I started. Um, riding fakie is riding backwards. In your original stance, using your back foot to control and move the kicktail. And in that case, your back foot will most likely be your pushing foot unless you ride mongo. I don't have anything against mongo pushers, but I don't recommend pushing mongo. I think those who did ride mongo before and are slowly switching to riding normally, they actually have an advantage because then it's easier for them to already push in their switch position. Pushing that aside, um, as you can see, I like to have my back foot balanced right over the kicktail, having a little bit of both my heel and toes hanging off the deck. For my front foot, I'll have it planted in the middle of my board, angled slightly towards the nose. For the most part, my feet are pretty parallel with each other. Riding at a decent speed, you're gonna want to throw your shoulders and your body to turn 180 degrees. About 90 degrees into turning your shoulders, you're going to apply just a little bit of pressure um, to the kicktail and you're going to use your feet to rotate the deck uh, following through with the rest of your body. What I'm about to say next is a really big tip in my opinion for this trick. Your upper portion of your body should already be in position to fully rotated before your deck starts to turn. Your feet should automatically follow where the rest of your body goes and your front foot will act more as a guide. It's also important you keep your chest parallel over the board the entire time. This will be a big tip for most of the tricks that I mentioned in this list. Also your weight will shift from your back foot to your front foot um, right after the board does the full 180 turn. This will help you balance and find stability as the trick progresses along. But most importantly, you keep you on your board after you have done the pivot. I would say my biggest advice for this trick is to really throw and turn your shoulders. It's easier to work your way down than to work up, so try over overturning even if that's not what you're supposed to do. This will just help you get a feel for the trick. Small little manuals, uh, maybe while you're cruising or tic tacking this will help you with this trick as well. It'll help you get used to the feeling of lifting and raising your kicktail. And then lastly, I'll say go for nollie pivots after you get front side and back side pivots down. Um, fakey. I would totally recommend getting all four of your pivots down just again to get those basics on lock. Moving on to the cross step. This is the first longboard dance step in my list. most simple step in my opinion of longboard dancing and freestyle. This is the first dance step that I learned in longboarding and is also just what I recommend to those who are starting out. So having your feet spread apart, first step will be bringing your front foot all the way to the back of your deck where your back foot rests. And from there you're gonna bring your back foot over your front foot crossing your feet cross step and your front foot will follow behind your back foot crossing one last time before landing back into your original position. Except your stance will be at the very nose of your deck so to finish up the cross step you'll slide your back foot back towards the tail of your board to even out your stance bringing you back to position one. You can practice this with your deck flipped over first, get a feel for the motion of where your feet step, also allowing yourself to understand how much room you need to give yourself 
um, depending on the board you're riding and how long it is. Be careful not to go too far back on your board, um, having your foot go past those bolts. All your weight will be jumping back and forth between your feet. So you want to be careful not to be on the kicktail when your front foot loses contact with the deck. This will lead to popping the board up in front of you and same goes for your front foot. You want to really keep that cross step within the wheelbase, so in between your bolts of your board. Once you get comfortable with the cross step, you can begin to carve into them. Also maybe adding a pivot here and there to make it into a line. This will feel super weird at first, but I promise you, you just gotta keep practicing and um, try and land one at least every session. Soon you'll begin to feel that cross step become super flowy and you will just get more comfortable over time. Next on my list is what's called a ghost ride. Ride, you're gonna bring your back foot over your front foot, crossing it and planting it to the side of your deck. This is gonna be opposite of where you push. So where you push, you're gonna cross over the board and step off on the side where you don't push. This will make your body leave the board rolling for a second or two as you readjust your feet and then reattach your foot back onto the board which will be followed by that back foot. Only your back foot will be touching the ground. So this trick consists of one step only and no rotation of your body whatsoever. You'll continue facing forward in your original stance the entire time. I like to give my my board a little push with my front foot right before I plant my back foot on the ground. This will keep the board in front of you rather than leaving it behind as you jump forward. Keep your eyes on the board the entire time. As for foot placement, it really doesn't matter where your front foot is on the board, whether it's closer to the nose or the tail. Maybe depending where your feet are in the middle of the line, but you want to keep your front foot balanced somewhere, I'd say, in the middle of the deck, facing forward so you're not carving or turning while doing the trick. A good way to practice the ghost ride is again to just maybe flip the board over and get a feel for how the trick processes. And then, of course, right after the ghost ride, we have the ghost ride kickflip, which is trick number four on my list. This is a trick that I actually just finished teaching two people. Super stoked for them, they killed it, and I just love seeing others progress in longboarding. Once you're comfortable with ghost rides, you can begin to add some variation to it. In this case, we're gonna be adding what's called an underflip. So this is the same exact trick and motion of the ghost ride, except for the ghost ride kickflip, you're going to be taking that extra step with your front foot this time, using your back foot to underflip your board and catch it mid-air. So again, a normal ghost ride consists of one step, while a ghost ride kick flip, you'll be taking two steps. When you underflip your board, you're going to want to use the very tip of your shoes, rather than the face of your foot, because then your foot will bruise and it will hurt. If you're just kind of chilling, uh, maybe sitting or standing, you can always put your foot underneath the board with the wheels down and just practice kind of that underflip motion with your back foot, just practice the flip rotation and catching it back with your back foot. I have picked up some bruises that leave off on my foot from doing ghost ride kick flips wrong, but I have a bad habit of repeating myself, but again, just tip of your shoes and not the face, palm of your foot just to avoid any injuries. Moving on to trick number five on my list, we're going to get into backside nollie shove -its. I love Nolly shove -its the best. I'd also recommend them fakey, but it's up to you and what is more comfortable for you. It's the same exact motion. Eventually you want to get all the basics and learn them front side as well. But for now with this video, I like to recommend back side because you can see the board shoving in front of you rather than having it go behind you. This trick is super similar to the pivot. You're gonna want to start by winding up those shoulders and throwing them, but stopping yourself right before the board actually begins to move. Riding at a decent amount of speed, you're going to apply a little bit of pressure to the nose, uh, pivoting about 40 degrees before both of your feet lose contact with the board. Then your back foot should catch the deck after it finishes that 180 degree rotation. Your body will uh, land back in its original stance. For foot placement, I like to have more of my front foot heel hanging off the kicktail with both of my toes facing slightly away from each other. With my back foot at a slight angle, it just helps me guide the board a little bit better. You can practice this trick by pivoting and then 
quickly switching your body, doing a body burial or a sex change. Almost like you're breaking it up into separate steps, you're just doing the trick in like a super slow motion step-by-step um, -step process. You're still doing the full trick, you're just practicing it in a way that's safe and will hopefully build confidence over time to do it faster and faster and that's when you will really be able to just shove at the board and make it look like one smooth wave and just have it flow and yeah, shove are fun. I always throw them in lines and they're great little touch-ups to your freestyle. We're halfway through the list so I'm gonna go ahead and take a smoothie break because I'm in a major smoothie phase right now. By the way, I really hope that this video is helping you guys out. Be sure to drop a like and a comment if you want to see more. Also, I just want to quickly say thank you all for always supporting the vids. Hope you all are staying safe and as always, much love, sending big hugs to all of you out there. And good luck with those longboarding tricks. You guys got this. Skate safe and have fun, most importantly. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.